Silverback Gorilla versus Nile Crocodile. Who would win in a fight between these powerful creatures? Well, watch to the end to find out since this is going to be a very interesting video. First up, we have the Silverback Gorilla. This beast inhabits the rainforests and lowlands of Central Africa. They are mainly herbivorous, eating fruits and lush vegetation, but they do occasionally eat insects. Gorillas are the largest living primates, with the heaviest subspecies being the eastern lowland gorilla. A typical mature silverback weighs between 350 to 450 pounds, and stands between 5 feet 6 inches to 6 feet tall on its hind legs. Weaponry It's no surprise gorillas are the strongest living primates. They have a really powerful upper body and long arms, with a span between 8 to 9 feet in length. Having such a long arm to body ratio allows the gorilla to move quadrupedally and climb trees with ease. Gorillas have poor control over their individual muscles, so when they do tasks like striking, they tend to use all their arm muscles. When silverbacks fight, they favor the striking method of clubbing, pushing, and tossing their opponents. Silverbacks have been known to use their environment as weapons, like throwing rocks and sticks. However, those actions are aimed to intimidate rather than to cause injuries. Even if the gorilla managed to throw a rock at the Nile crocodile, I doubt it would do any damage whatsoever. When regarding bite force, a silverback is capable of producing up to 1300 psi. Just for reference, that's around 8 times stronger than a human's bite. Gorillas have decently sharp teeth, however, their dentistry is built for an herbivorous diet. So, a simple bite to the crocodile would likely not deal any significant damage whatsoever, and it would put the gorilla in a compromising position. If you want to know the real strength of a gorilla, feel free to check out the video I posted called The True Strength of a Gorilla. The link will be in the description. Defense Silverbacks have dense muscles, with sparse hairs covering their back and upper body. The hairs would likely not provide any realistic defense buff. Their skin is human-like, which tightly covers their muscles and physique. This means that it's relatively susceptible to sharp objects, like the crocodile's teeth. So, the skin would be pretty easy to cut into and cause severe blood loss. For a creature of its size, the gorilla does not have a good defense. Speed and Agility Silverbacks are said to run up to 25 miles per hour in short bursts, and are quite agile on land. They mainly roam around their environment quadrupedally, and can climb trees with ease. Gorillas have a high number of fast twitch muscle fibers, that being around 70 to 80 percent. This means that they have great explosive power, but poor stamina. They also cannot naturally swim, so they avoid large bodies of water. Fighting Knowledge Silverbacks face off with other members of their own species for dominance, and defend against the occasional leopard. However, they do not encounter any creatures resembling a crocodile on a day-to-day -day basis. Gorillas are also mainly herbivorous, so they do not actively hunt prey. Overall, I think the silverback would have an okay amount of fighting knowledge. Alright, let's move on to the Nile Crocodile. This beast mainly inhabits the rivers and wetlands of Sub-Saharan Africa. They hunt and eat whatever they can get their jaws around, like fish, zebras, and wildebeests. The Nile Crocodile is the second largest crocodilian, with only the saltwater crocodile surpassing it in size. A typical male Nile crocodile can grow between 600 to 700 pounds and 13 to 16 feet in length. So, the Nile croc would have a considerable weight and length advantage, but the gorilla would have a height advantage. Weaponry Crocodilians are famously known for their deadly jaws and immense bite strength. The Nile croc being one of the largest living crocodilians is no exception to this rule. This beast has one of the strongest bite forces in the animal kingdom, which is capable of producing up to 3500 psi. Just for reference, that's around 22 times greater than a human's bite, and is significantly more powerful than a gorilla's. It uses its bone-crushing bite to latch onto its prey, and drag it underwater to drown it. 
The Nile Croc can also do a move called the Death Roll, which further injures any limb it grabs onto by twisting it violently. The Death Roll can be achieved on land, but is much easier to do in water. On top of having a stronger bite, the Nile Crocodile's skull is much larger and more elongated than the gorilla's. Inside its jaws are 64 sharp, conical teeth that are specifically built for a carnivorous diet. These teeth get replaced often due to losing them in brawls. Defense The crocodilian lineage survived on Earth for over 200 million years, so it's safe to say that they've developed a good defense. Modern-day crocodiles have bone plating called osteoderms running along their back, along with their thick scales. This provides great protection against sharp objects and bites from other creatures. However, crocodilians have a vulnerable underbelly, which the gorilla could exploit if it manages to flip the Nile crocodile on its back. But, it would be considerably hard to do given its much lower center of gravity and weight distribution. Crocodilians are famously known to have a very high pain tolerance, with some individuals being able to shrug off broken limbs like it was nothing. So, overall, the Nile Croc would have a considerable defense advantage over the gorilla. Speed and Agility On land, I think it's pretty obvious that the gorilla would have an advantage in this aspect. The Nile Crocodile has short, stubby legs and a relatively flat body, this makes it a pretty slow and lumbering creature on land, but do not let the physique fool you. Crocodiles can curve their bodies rather well when getting attacked from the side. However, the build of crocodilians is more aimed for an aquatic lifestyle. They become a lot faster and more nimble on the water, with moves like the death roll being much easier to do. Also, since crocodiles are cold-blooded creatures, they tend to have poor stamina and fatigue rather quickly. So, both the Nile Croc and Gorilla would not have good endurance, but I would say the Gorilla would slightly edge out the Crocodilian in this regard. Fighting Knowledge Nile Crocodiles fight with other members of their own species, and actively hunt prey like fish, zebras, and wildebeests. They also brawl with hippos and lions. However, they do not encounter any creatures resembling a gorilla on a day-to-day -day basis. But, overall, I think the Nile Croc would have a good amount of fighting knowledge, with it being more than the Silverback Gorillas. Alright, we have our stats. So, who would win in a fight between a Silverback Gorilla and a Nile Crocodile? Let's say this battle takes place on a riverbank. This would be an interesting brawl, but... I think the Nile Crocodile would win 90% of the time. Along with its considerable size advantage, its osteoderm defense is much better than the easily rippable skin of the gorillas. The Nile Croc also has superior weaponry, that being its insanely powerful bite force and sharp teeth. Its deadly jaws could easily puncture the skin of the gorilla, and would break whatever limb it grabs onto by shaking its head violently or doing the death roll. Furthermore, the silverback likes to fight up close, which would put it in range to get bit by the crocodilian. The Nile Croc actively hunts larger and deadlier prey than the gorilla, like lions, hippos, and buffalo. Overall, the silverback does not have the proper weaponry or defense to take down the Nile Crocodile.